one long time no see it has literally been three weeks maybe four since my last video which is a long time i'm kind of annoyed at myself for not posting for that long because i really really like being consistent and i always upload on the same day same time every single week and i actually don't think i've missed a single week since I started the channel so I'm really annoyed now that I've missed quite a few weeks but there is like reasoning behind it so we were supposed to go to Dubai on holiday for New Year but we didn't end up getting to go and I had three videos planned that were like going to be centered around Dubai but obviously we didn't go so I wasn't able to film those videos and then me and Scott have also both had Covid so I've not been feeling that well <laughs> so I've not kind of been like feeling up to filming other videos so yeah that is why there has been a bit of a lack of videos over the past couple of weeks but we're back now back to posting every week back to the normal schedule Wednesday at 5 um, and yeah this is the first video of 2022 which is quite exciting so me and Scott are both feeling a lot better now and we are finally out of our isolation and um, Scott is going back away for work in a couple of days so we're just going to try and kind of do some nice things in the next couple of days just to kind of try and make the most of the time before he goes away again so today we are heading out for breakfast and um, which is something that we never normally do I don't know why because it's like it's always nice going out for breakfast but it's just yeah something that we never really do so I'm really looking forward to that and then we're just gonna see where the day takes us after that so this is what I'm wearing today which is a little bit out there for me but I do actually really like it so this little orange puffer is from Boohoo um, and then I've just got a black jumper on underneath which I think is from Zara and then I've got these like leather split hem trousers on with my Jordans so yeah it's a little bit of a different outfit for me but I do really like it so we're heading to a place called the flower cup for breakfast it looks really really nice on Instagram so I'm really excited I can't decide if I want savory or sweet though what are you feeling savory all day oh yeah. <laughs> that's sad <laughs> so this is the menu um, I'm still unsure whether I want savory or sweet so I'm thinking this if I'm having savoury which I'm kind of leaning towards but they do also have a biscoff french toast which sounds really really nice so I'm really not sure what are you going to go for? I'm stuck between XRL or um, a flower cup breakfast which I prefer with mm. so I ended up going for savoury in the end I've got toast, avocado, halloumi, egg bacon, sausage and beans and you've got like a full English haven't you? Yeah. I went for savoury because I ended up getting in a hot chocolate on the side as well so that's gonna be like my sweet but that looks so so good doesn't it I am so excited to eat this it looks unbelievable on you go pour the beans yeah. <laughs> so we've just finished up at breakfast it was so nice wasn't it Proper good food. really full now um, but yeah where are we heading now uh, I need to get some jeans and then because I'm so small we'll have to go to the tailors and get them taken up a little bit every time Scott goes away he always buys like a full new wardrobe and then like never wears half of it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> So we're back in the car now on the way to M&S to get some stuff for tea. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier or not but today we're treating today like my sort of like fake birthday. So my birthday is next week. Early, not fake. Early birthday. Well yeah, but it's like a fake birthday isn't it? <laughs> so my birthday is next week but Scott is going to be away by then. So um, we're just kind of having like my birthday a week early. <laughs> so Scott is going to be making tea tonight, he's going to be making a nice birthday tea. So we're heading to m &S now to pick up all the bits for it. And I'm not sure what I'm making yet because Lisa's not told me. Yeah, I'm not decided. Part of me wants him to like make a beef wellington because I think that that would be like... The hardest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's trying to put me through my paces basically. But I do kind of fancy Italian, so like we could have like a really nice pasta dish and we can get like a nice pizza and we can like have half and half. I think that would be really nice. That'd be a good idea. I've never made pasta really. Make a bit of carbonara. Nah, I want like seafood linguine. Alright, I'll do that. Like prawns yeah. and stuff. Easy. How hard can that be? 
So that's the plan for the rest of the day pretty much. We're going to m and now and then heading back and we can watch Scott be chef for the night. <laughs> was a success we picked up we got stuff to make a prawn linguine and we've got pizza we've got a starter we've got a pudding it's gonna be nice you better not mess up the pasta because it's yeah, gonna ruin i'll try it. my best i've never really <laughs> made it before so we'll no nah, it'll be it'll be nice i'm sure um, and i also picked up some salmon sushi just to have as like a little snack because i'm a little bit peckish and it's not a trip to m and without some party pigs so yeah we're just heading back home now we'll see you when we get back um, it's a little bit later on and scott has banished me to the bedroom <laughs> he says that i have to sit in here for a little bit because he's doing secret things in the living room so i'm not quite sure what he's up to but i'm just enjoying my party pigs and i'm just kind of waiting now for him to come through and get me he's been quite a while actually he's already been like 15 minutes so i'm not quite sure what he's up to i'm excited to see you though mm -hmm. are you staying here walking little sneak peek everyone some balloons come on then lisa here she comes. Oh, she's smiling. <laughs> Frozen. No, I opened those today, or is it, am I to save those for my birthday? I opened them today, yeah. I wasn't expecting Frozen. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't pop any, because they'll go everywhere. Right, what are you going to open first? I don't know. Look at this box of chocolates. Oh my goodness. It is absolutely massive. Shall we try one? Yeah, what do you want to try first? Um, I don't know. This is the menu. <laughs> There's so many different kinds. I'm going to have this one. So this one is passion fruit margarita. I think I've got alcohol in it. Are you drunk? Oh, that's very strong. Are you an alcoholic one? Yeah. So I'll come across. Oh, that is so strong. I'll get the mojito. Oh, strong. It is so strong. Mm, right, this one sounds nice. This is strawberry smoothie. Mmm, yum. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness this is just like so overwhelming there's so much stuff in here to choose from okay last one i'm gonna have one of these little raspberry white chocolate bar things also can't wait to try my other present it's the velvetizer woo i have literally seen this like all over tiktok and i'm so excited i'm gonna try it out later I love how you literally got like all of my presents from Hotel Chocolate. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. What are you doing there? I'm going to get a chocolate bit of parsley. Got a little video tutorial. I hope you get copyrighted for that. <laughs> Chef Scott. So Scott is hard at work making our pasta dish while prepping all the stuff for it anyways. We've got the camembert in the oven and we're also going to have like the garlic bread with it to dip in and we've got a pizza as well so yeah i'm really looking forward to it i'm really hungry now i have changed by the way just in case you were wondering i was a bit too hot in my jumper so and i've been making my way through those hotel chocolate chocolates do you pronounce it hotel chocolate or is it chocolat Be because i'm not sure i kind of feel like a bit of an idiot saying chocolat but then it's also not spelled chocolate so, is, it, is it French? I think it is French because on the um, velvetizer box it was in French, some of it. Okay, so we need to get a French viewer, someone who's from France, to tell us. How do you say this word? Is it chocolate or chocolat? Is it spelled the same as chocolate? No, it's not, it's spelled different, it's okay. chocolat. 
that's why I'm not sure how you actually say it. Because if it was chocolate, it would be spelled chocolate. But that's what I'm saying, you feel like a bit of an idiot saying yeah. chocolat, don't you? Hmm, who knows? But anyways, they are so, so good. There's one that's like raspberry. It's so nice. So like these buttons, it's like a raspberry white chocolate. Oh my God, they are so good. Like I just cannot get over this box of chocolates. Like I've never seen anything like it. I'm also really excited to try these. These are like little biscuits apparently. Um, so yeah, really, really loving that. Alright. <laughs> How are you getting on there? Good. Wow. Parsley. Do you want to talk us through what you're doing? Not yet. <laughs> Go on camera shy because it's been ages since we've done a video. <laughs> no, it's not right. I, need to, I need to do this and then I will. And once it's all cut like this, like a cooking show. Look at this. That is way too much onion though. <laughs> it's not two onions, that is two whole onions. Not a fan of onion. Who has watched Encanto on Disney Plus? It's the new Disney film that's on Disney Plus, and Scott absolutely loves the soundtrack, hey, don't you? So shiny. This is my family, Madriga. My this. family, my motherfucking family. I can't swear. <laughs> it is quite a good film though, so if you've not watched it, I would recommend giving it a go. And Lisa, you haven't got a leg to stand on because you slept through the whole thing. Oh, he was on me, so I know you slept. Yeah. But I did have COVID. I don't think it's a true reflection well, of the film. Reviews on a film you never watched. Well, sleep. I enjoyed what I watched. <laughs> Alright, the end. The <laughs> end. He's coming down to Samba with me to this song. Like, I'm sprinkling. They do like this heel toe. Heel toe. The Samba has got a bounce. So they do this and so, like. What's your gift? <laughs> so after Lisa's just punched me right in the face of the blue on the back. <laughs> this is everything that's laid out. So we've got a bit of salt and pepper, a bit of garlic, chili, sun-dried tomatoes, onion, bay, what's it, parsley, a bit of a bronzer, obviously. Some um, sun dried tomatoes. They're just tin tomatoes. Tin tomatoes, even olive oil, sugar, and then we've got the pasta and the pan. But in the oven, we have. <laughs> as you can see, Lisa was right. But in there, we've got some. Um, we've got some camembert and garlic bread to dip into the camembert. Lisa got the idea from another YouTuber. I'm not sure who it was. Who is everyone it? does it. All oh, right. Okay. So she's now denying. Stealing somebody's idea. Not everyone dips garlic bread into camembert. Do you? Do you really? So we've got our starter camembert garlic bread. <sighs> That's hot. You <laughs> literally just took that out of your mouth. <laughs> Look at that cheese. Yum. That is a lot of pasta. Yeah. There is only two of us, you know. <laughs> it does look nice though. I'm excited. Yeah. Wow, look at this. I think you've done quite a good job, you know. It looks yeah. really good. Nice, we've also got the prawn pasta, which does look really, really nice. And then we've got this pizza. pizza. What is it? Ham, mushroom and mascarpone, yeah. I think. I think so. Are you going to do the first taste then? Let us know what it's like. Get right in there. Mm. Is it nice? Yeah, it's good. Is it? Yeah. That is actually pretty nice. Well done. So it's a bit later now. We're all showered and got pajamas on and stuff. Um, we did. <laughs> We decided to have a bit of a break in between main course and pudding because like we were both pretty full. But we're gonna have pudding now. We've got these little melt in the middle 
chocolate puddings that we're gonna have with ice cream and we're also gonna give the velvetizer a try as well so scott got me two flavors so i've got white chocolate and just like the standard normal milk chocolate so we're gonna get it started and we'll see what it's like i love how it like fits perfectly into the cup do you reckon it's gonna be too hot to drink now or do you think it'll be fine? I, I don't wanna like burn myself. Mmm. Good. Yeah, it's really frothy. I've seen people on TikTok as well, like, and they chop up chocolate bars and put it in there. So like you get like, you know, like the kinder bars. Oh yeah. And you can chop it up and like make a kinder hot chocolate. Oh nice. Mmm. That's actually really nice though. <laughs> I would be excited to try some of the other flavours as well because I think they do like orange and mint and stuff, don't they? And like hazelnut. Mm. So we're sitting down now with our pudding. We've got the melt in the middle puddings with the white chocolate magnum ice cream. If you've not tried that ice cream, you need to get on it because the white chocolate bits that you get in it, oh my god, so good. And we've got our hot chocolates as well. We're gonna sit and watch Friends and then probably just gonna have like quite an early night because I'm in work at six o'clock tomorrow morning, so that's fun. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!